Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily tarot. So today we're taking a look at doing a checkup spread and we're just going to find out what's going on for you guys. What is the background situation? Uh, what is the background influences that is causing the situations? Uh, what is the enemy or the obstacle that you need to face? and how you can overcome this particular obstacle okay so again please do keep in mind that this is a general reading so it might not necessarily resonate for you or it might not resonate straight away okay you only take what is yours and you leave what isn't yours for someone else right so your first card out is the eight of wands so this is the overall nature of your situation this is a uh, really fast end Energy. Maybe something's moving too quick. Um, it might not be moving quick enough. I mean, I just don't know yet. I've not got enough information to go off it. Um, so I'm going to have to clarify that one, find out what the heck is going on there. Right, so there's all your cards. Um, overall energy is the Seven of Swords. Okay. The Emperor, a Queen of Coins, the Lovers, the Empress, a Page of Swords, and a Five of Wands. Hey, what? What's going on? <laughs> That's a bit insane. Um, it looks like we've got a masculine energy. So, not necessarily a man, but a masculine energy who is dealing with multiple people. They're dealing with a queen of coins and an empress. Um, and of course, the lovers is in between the queen of coins and the empress, because it goes queen of coins, lovers, empress. And then at the bottom of that deck is the page of swords with the five of wands. So there's a conflict here for a masculine that's to do with a choice in love. Um, it seems a bit icky, because that's the overall energy, the Seven of Swords. You've also got the Devil that has come out as well. And this is the background influences that is causing this situation. The background influences is someone's obsession with that Devil energy. Um, I'm going to have to clarify, <laughs> right, we, we need to clarify this straight away. What's going on with that Seven of Swords, please, for our collective? What's going on with the Seven of Swords? A Two of Swords, okay. There could be an air sign here, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be the air sign. You've also got Aries, uh, Taurus. Uh, and Capricorn as well. You've got Virgo also. Um, see, your Two of Swords is stalling. And this masculine, now you could be the masculine that I'm speaking of, or you could be dealing with that masculine. The masculine is stalling. Okay, it, it's like they're, they're trying to avoid looking at this situation head on. They, they don't want to resolve this problem. And this problem is between two feminines. Two feminines that they're dealing with. They do not want to make the decision. Can you tell us more? Thank you. The sun. Yeah. I mean... The sun energy normally is very, very optimistic. I'm picking this up as a child. Okay, that sun energy could well be a child for this masculine. And it's showing me that they're stalling, they're withholding from the person that their heart absolutely does truly belong with because they've had a child here with someone else. So they're sticking to that particular relationship because they feel that that's the right thing to do here. OK, um, everybody knows that that doesn't work. That doesn't work. In fact, that causes trauma. It causes far more trauma for any kids that are involved than actually just being an adult 
facing your problems head on and dealing with it. Okay, because there's a masculine here who does not love an individual that they have had children with, that they have had a family with. And they're like that. I'm, I'm, I'm just hanging around, making it work. I'm biding my time until that child's old enough. Yeah, okay. You know who does that? Cowards. Cowards do that. Okay, it's not brave. It's not admirable. And it's definitely not working out for the, the children's best interests. It genuinely isn't. It's causing more trauma to those kids yeah see seven of wands at the bottom of the deck exactly what i was speaking about because though though that child or those children are going to be witnessing this masculine and and their partner having constant arguments constant fights with each other there's there's nothing more traumatic than a child being in a home where the two parents absolutely hate and despise each other there is nothing more traumatic than for a child than that. It's very, very unhealthy energy. Really unhealthy. What's this Eight of Wands here, please? Thank you. Yeah, Strength and the Ten of Wands. That combination is cowardice. And it's spirits saying there is always a better way to do things. Okay, um, somebody here is trying to be very strong. They're trying to be very resilient. Now, you could be the child in this equation. Okay, you, you could be now the adult child that had that going on in your childhood. And now, as an, as an adult, history could be repeating itself here. That's how I'm reading this energy. History is repeating itself for somebody. Because we've got leaving, taking action, doing something and doing something quickly. Being assertive also with the Eight of Wands. And it's clarified with this energy. This is repression. This one right here, that's repression. So somebody is trying to be resilient under pressure but they don't know if they should cut ties and move on or stick it out can you clarify the shadow side here please thank you yeah the ace of wands this energy it's drive it's passion it's the will to create something new here. Now, in that combination, that can be somebody being a cheat. Okay, hanged man at the bottom of the deck is Pisces energy. So there could be a Pisces or a Capricorn here who is a cheat or who is being cheated on. Again, just take it as it resonates. Spirit's asking for you to take a closer look at the situation from a different perspective. Okay. Don't look at the situation from a biased perspective. You've got to look at the situation from an objective perspective. Um, can you take a look at the immediate causes, please, with the Five of Swords? Thank you. Yeah, page of wands. Child energy, with it being a page. Um, I'm getting drained <laughs> really, really quickly. Uh, usually when I get drained super fast in a read, and I know I am a little bit ill at the moment, that's not why I'm getting drained quickly. Um, Usually when I get drained really fast in a read is because there's a lot of uh, drama going on within that particular energy. Um, that it's a lot of chaotic times that that's going on for that person that I'm reading for. Um, it's all the types of energy that in real life, <laughs> if I was dealing with that, 
I'd just walk away and have nothing to do with it. Um, <laughs> I, I do not get involved with stuff like that at all. Um, so when I have to read it and read through it, it drains my batteries really, really fast. And my knee-jerk reaction is, nah, nah, don't get involved. Just run away. Just do not get involved with this at all. And, I mean, what better cards to be able to describe that energy than the Five of Swords and the Page of Wands? Five of Swords is empty victory. There's fights over custody here, more likely than not, because there's a Page of Wands. Uh, this is someone who is wanting to live their, uh, their absolute best life and feeling that they're not able to, uh, feeling that they're stuck or otherwise trapped in a situation that they don't want to be in and literally having to face the consequences of allowing or uh, creating repeating history. Like, th this is someone's past right here. That's, that's what someone's grown up with. And now in their adult life, they've created that exact same thing. Definitely. So if you're watching this read, it's like you could be that person that where history has repeated itself um, because of that lack of strength and courage and the inability to stand up for yourself when the time was needed. Or you could be the one that is stuck in the middle of this. Like, you, you could be the child now who is stuck in between two parents. Or you could be that other man or the other woman who is basically the the one that is sitting there waiting for your person to, to leave the one that they've had kids with that they don't love. You know, again, you've got to take it as it resonates because it's, it's going to resonate so differently. We, we've got a custody battle that's going on here for some. Oh, how sad. Okay, what is the enemy or the obstacle here? So the enemy or the obstacle is the high priest. That would be the hierophant. Wow. And it's clarified with the hierophant in the reverse position. Yeah. The enemy or the obstacle that you must face. That's, that's like a divorce. A divorce, a split, a separation, because you've got promises being made and then promises being broken, which technically a divorce is broken promises, okay, because when you get married, you promise to be with that person um, in, in, until your very last breath, and then a divorce is like, yeah, mm, actually, I kind of changed my mind, <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, that, that's a broken promise. I mean, if you want to get technical about it. So the obstacle is somebody here needs to get divorced. That, that's, that's the only real and true way forward. Okay. Even if they're not married, um, if they're in like a common law type situation because they've been together for so long, you know, that there could be com uh, complications brought up through common law. So somebody's needing to sort this out because, to be completely honest with you, all I'm seeing here is a mess. You know, it's an absolute mess. So someone's kitted up with an individual that they didn't love. They didn't love them when they kitted up with them. They they've had kids with them. And still they didn't love them. And now they're genuinely in love with someone else. And they feel stuck with the one that they don't actually love. It is really, really sad. Really sad. And this could be the type of scenario as well. Uh, you often see this happening in, like, same-sex relationships. You know, where, where somebody's denying for so, so long their sexual orientation. Like, it still goes on in this day and age. They spend their entire life denying the fact that they're, you know, not sexually attracted to the opposite sex. They, they have families, you know, they, they try and walk the straight life and have kids and all the rest of it. But they're, they're never, ever happy. Never happy. And then they find that one that they 
oops, fall in love with, you know, and it's a member of the same gender. It like, it, it, you would not believe how frequently that actually goes on. I, I don't know why people still feel the need to conceal their sexual preferences. I really don't. I've never under well, I kind of understood why they needed to back in the olden days. But in this day and age, there's no excuse for it. Not really. That it, like in this day and age, that's more to do with the individual failing to do that introspection. Okay. Even if it's not a same sex situation, this is a masculine here who at some point felt so overwhelmed with loneliness that they just kitted up with the first person that gave them attention, even though they didn't love them. Ended up having a whipsy baby. And then all the rest has followed. You know, it's very, very unhealthy energy. Really unhealthy energy. Because it's, it's not the baby's fault, it's not the child's fault. And if you are that child, it's it was never your fault, you know. I, I don't know why I get half the messages that I get that come out of these reads, but it is what it is. The attitude that somebody who identifies and resonates with this energy, the attitude that you're then going to need is to speak the truth, okay? And there is a clear distinction between the truth and your truth okay ace of swords is about the truth so you're gonna have to speak clearly communicate your needs clearly speak the truth clearly and also there's an eagle in flight there okay so that's receiving spiritual help receiving spiritual assistance whenever you see the hawk it means that you're going up a level you're ascending spiritually and that something is improving okay um, and you're receiving spiritual insights and help right so definitely do speak the truth and then the action that you're needing to take is the Ten of Coins. That's one of the Apex cards, okay? Uh, ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles, doesn't matter. It's just different words for the same things. It's because I've had people correct me before in the comments, like, oh, it's not coins, it's pentacles. I think you're reading the wrong thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, like, literally the same thing. Um, this is the action that you're needing to take. And that is to think about the future generations. Okay. Somebody needs to consider the future generations. And then you've got the two of coins there as the most likely outcome, which is stabilizing. It's, it, it's balance being brought back in. It's uh, things being in harmony. It's things being on a nice even keel once again it's it's uh, that nice equilibrium it's basically spirit saying look everything's going to work out providing you or whoever resonates with this energy tells the truth then everything will work out just fine okay and you've got the queen of cups at the bottom of that deck everything that you do do it from the heart Okay, do do it with love. Keep your intent pure and honest like that Queen of Cups. Okay. It says, be open to receive the healing and nurturing that you need. So perhaps somebody is needing to speak here to a professional, a counsellor, a lawyer, a solicitor, anything like that. Okay. Um... But be open to receive the healing that, that you need. And everything you do, do it from a place of love. Okay. What else for our collective, please? What else for our collective? It's such an awkward deck to shuffle. 
I love the messages that come with this deck, but I honestly, I don't know why they didn't just put it on a normal rectangle deck. Because it's so awkward and like the size difference as well. It's a bit mad. So yeah, you've got the card with all of the, the love hearts on there. A smile fills your heart with longing. Through the magnetism of divine love, you merge with another and love becomes an all-embracing thought. By a touch, a word or a glance, love heals, unites, transforms and transfigures all things. This is your season of love. A time of positive transformation. A time of happiness. Yeah. There, there's a masculine here who is denying themselves um, happiness with an individual that they truly, truly, genuinely love. And for what? You know, what, what are they actually gaining from not being with the one that they truly love? Because what they're creating is a really unhealthy, toxic atmosphere. That, that's what's being created right now. If this masculine was just honest and they moved with integrity towards the person that they actually loved, whether it's same gender or not, then they'd be a lot happier. Their little ones would be a lot happier. Because remember, kids pick up on what, what goes on for the adults around them. They definitely do. And again, it's confirming that message about everything that you do, it has to come from a place of love. Okay. Right, so I am going to conclude this read with a card from one of the Naughty Decks. This one's Spiritual AF. I've been using this deck for a while now. It is quite funny. Um, it's a bit sarcastic and quite sweaty. So if you're allergic to that sort of thing, then you just don't have to listen. Okay, uh, It's just a little bit of lighthearted fun to uplift the energies at the end of the read. Okay, you don't have to rebuild a relationship with everyone you have forgiven. Isn't that interesting? You don't have to rebuild a relationship with everyone you have forgiven. You are hereby granted permission to forgive everyone, but still be super picky about every person you let into your inner circle go forth and prosper. Yeah. So, forgiveness is basically making peace with whatever's happened so that it's not weighing you down. It's making room for, for whatever's happened so that it doesn't dictate your future decision making. There's someone here, and I feel that it could well be this masculine, that is actively seeking someone's forgiveness. And Spirit's saying, yeah, that's fine, but you don't have to rebuild a relationship with them. Okay? Right, so I'm going to have to go leave that one there because... I've got to go get a drink. This cold is making my throat really, really sore. Uh, so I need to go get a drink and like a, a cough sweet or something. But yeah, I genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful to someone. If you feel that you need a personal reading, then I am currently taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Don't forget to go check out all of the other readings that are available on my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.